going on everybody welcome to the call three the hallway right we got three amazing people on here including myself uh first and foremost um let's put a seven in the chat for gratitude right let's put a seven in the chat right now for gratitude seven in the chat right now for gratitude who's gonna start it geo started it with the flame let's put a seven in the chat for gratitude blow that up if you're on next level blow it up man if, if, if you're on my team, if you already know how we do, we have fun in the chats, baby. Let's get it. Let's get it. All right, cool, cool, cool. First and foremost, if you guys don't know me, I'm C. John, um, out in Bronx, New York. Um, man, I, we came up with this call because we wanted to bring people value, right? We wanted to. We noticed that, you know, there's different ways that different people build, right? There's different journeys that people go through, right? And, um, you know, I saw you know, two individuals who I said, man, I have to get these two on a call because the value and the energy that they bring is, is something that people need to hear. Because if I'm my first three months in, I wish I would have been able to hear from these two, right? So that I can go ahead and speed up the process and I won't run into any roadblocks, right? So today, right, we're going to be able to just bring you guys value. We got two powerful beasts on the call. Um, this call is, is recorded. We're going to give them about 20 to 25 minutes each, and then we'll do a 10-minute Q&A at the end. So first and foremost, I want to introduce uh, the lady boss herself, the queen, yeah. right? Um, she just retired her husband. She got four beautiful kids. She is a beast. She is consistent. She is relentless, and her energy is unmatched. So without further ado, I want to go ahead and bring Lydia on the call. Lydia, you on the call? Yes, I am here. Can y'all hear me? If y'all can hear me, drop some fire emojis in the chat. Let me know that y'all can hear me, that y'all can feel me. I'm usually really loud. I just put the kids to bed. I got four step kids, two little kids. So we 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 got kids over here. Today. <laughs> okay, so y'all can hear me. I'm seeing the five emojis come through. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So I'm gonna reintroduce myself. My name is Hope. No. So my name is Lydia Hayes. I am a mom, wife, oh my god, entrepreneur, business woman. And I started this journey, oh my goodness, just a little over a year ago, last November. Well, almost, it'll be a year and a half soon. And when I first got started, you guys, I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. It was because I really hated my job. I just could not stand being told what to do, when to do it, when to take lunch breaks, when I can't drink on the job. I can't bring my wine to work. Are you serious? What's wrong with y'all? I couldn't do that. So yeah, I had to quit. I, I just had to. It just was not working out for me. I had to be my own boss. So speed things up. I quit. I tried several different at-home opportunities from MC. I don't even want to name them all because y'all probably in some of them. But I tried so many different opportunities. None of them gave me the time freedom that I just desperately wanted and needed. They all required me to constantly stay on my phone, required me to just be like, addicted to my phone basically so when i found forex iml i was super excited because i'm just like okay so this is something that i don't have to talk to people so when i first started this you guys i did not share it with anybody i was quiet i was like i'm not letting my family know because they're not about to be hitting me up asking me for money for dough nope not at all can't do it is there anyone on this call that just hates their job just really wants to be able to retire because tonight we're going to show you, we're going to give y'all the blueprint. We're going to show y'all how we did it, how CJ about to give y'all some news soon. I'm super, super excited about that too. So let me not spoil it, but you guys, is there anyone, if, if you have ever hated your job, wanted to quit, drop some twos in the chat, drop some twos. Someone said they just want to stay at home. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So let me get right into it. Let me give, I'm going to give y'all three things today. I'm going to show you, and I got my notes. If y'all see me look to the left, to the left, to the left, everything I own in the box. No. So if y'all see me look to the left, it's because I'm going to be looking at my notes. So the first thing I'm going to show y'all is how to build a team. The second thing I'm going to show you is how to keep a team. And the third thing I'm going to show you is how to duplicate a team. So number one, 
how to build a team. And if I'm looking over here, if my kids get up and I end up taking my earrings off, just ignore me. No, I'm just fine. So how to build a team. When you are building a team, I'm going to tell you the three steps that I did to build a team. First, it was always the obvious. Adding new people to your Facebook, your Instagram, your Twitter, um, Snapchat. I'm old school, so I don't even know half of these chats and, and things, whatever. So adding new friends to them daily. And you don't just want to add random. You don't want to add friends and family. You don't want to add Jane just because she looked. Mm -mm, nope, that's not who we're adding. We're adding influencers and we're adding um, fellow entrepreneurs. And let me show you where to go get them. So to get these people, we're going to these influencers' websites, pages, and we're going to the comment sections or to the likes, actually, to the likes where you see the likes, the loves, the hearts. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I can't think of what it's called when you're on um, Facebook, the reactions. So you're going to the reactions and you're seeing a ton. Like, let's see, this post had 300 likes on Grant Cordon's page. And so we're going to go there and we're going to add those likes. We're, we're going to go for the people who really heart the page, who really do major reactions, like the wows, the loves, all of those. We're not going to just get random people, typical people. We're going to get those people who are in the same um, category that we're in. We're entrepreneurs. So you don't want to build down, really, just to be honest with you. You don't want a lot of followers. You want leaders in your business. So the number one thing we're going to do to build a team is we're going to add people daily. And you set your own goal, what fits your lifestyle. I know I got so many kids, so I'm just like, uh, I'm going to do what I can when I can. So I have my schedule set. But so I just showed you how to add people. And so you're going to add them every single day. The next thing in building a team is getting people to know, trust, and like you. To do that, going live, which is usually the scariest thing for everyone, but that was my key. That was my key to really get my face out there to get people to know, to trust, and to like me is going live. So going live, you don't even have to do it every single day. Going live two or three times a day, or two or three times a day, two or three times a week is what helped me out a lot. And now I'll just go live. I'll be in there with the kids. We'll be in there cooking cake. I don't know. We'll be doing anything. We'll go live. It doesn't have to be about your business. It could be about anything that interests you that would draw people to you because you want people who have common interests with you. Um, and for those people who are scared to go live, you can even go live with a business partner, people on your team, anybody and everybody that you know that goes live a lot and they feel comfortable doing it, y'all can do it together. And also for those who are nervous, you can do watch parties. Hopefully, does anyone know what watch parties are? If you know what watch parties are, drop a number four in the chat. Watch parties help take my business to that next level as well, too. And I'm going to show you how to leverage other people. So, okay, someone said they don't know what watch parties are. So let me tell you what watch parties are. Facebook has this thing. I think it came out around five or six months ago. So watch parties allow you, if you see a video on Facebook, let's say I see one from, um, what's my dude, Les Brown. So I see a video, a very powerful video from Les Brown. If I watch that video, after I've watched it, Facebook asks me, do I want to host a watch party? So I can actually host a watch party and all my friends will then be notified that I'm doing a live party. So everyone is sitting there eating, drinking, whatever they're doing, watching this video with me. So, and I used to use any and everybody, I would use Jaleesa's videos. I would use everybody's videos um, because a lot of times people need to not just see you winning, not just seeing you in the limelight, you having success. They need to see your team. So I would use people on my teams. It was one girl who was just doing a um, testimony for me. She was like, I was so afraid to do this. And I even told Lydia, I'm scared. This is my last little bit. And she did this video or live on her Facebook page. I hosted a watch party and they got so many people in my inbox asking about it because they need to see you're not the only one in this business. So that was number two. Number three, is um how many times are you hosting or inviting to the webinars and i'm sure someone on your team is hosting a webinar we usually host one at least two or three times a week the best thing is to do your own webinars that of course gets people to really really be believe in you because it's not about any and everyone else on your team when it comes down to it yes it is great for them to see them winning but when you start hosting your own webinars, that's when it really gets good. And this is a thing that I do to help get my people comfortable hosting webinars. So I'll start hosting them. 
I'll bring them in as a special guest. And all they have to do is just tell the reason why they even joined Forex. So I'll keep it super basic, super simple. Their part is anywhere between three to five minutes. So then they become comfortable because they're just talking about themselves and the reason they join. They're just being honest and upfront. It's not about how much money they've made. It's not about um, all the glitz and the glam. None of that. It's just about the reason that they join. So then the next time we do a webinar, then they'll feel comfortable doing an introduction for me. So the introduction is where they're introducing me. They'll tell a little bit about why they joined and why they like. I think one of my kids is coming downstairs, so I'm going to ignore him and pretend I don't see him. Um, so then the second time they're pretty much just doing the introduction and telling why, why they joined Forex. So then the third time they're doing a part in the actual webinar. So this time they're doing like, um, some of the products or like they can tell like their favorite product or something. Each time they're getting more and more involved in the webinars themselves to where it's not so scary, so intimidating anymore. So you start them off small and then you go from there. So that was number one, building a team and the three steps on how to build a team. Next, we're going to go to how to keep your team. So if y'all are still with me and y'all are getting value from this, can y'all drop a five in the chat? If y'all are still with me, y'all still awake, the wine ain't put y'all to sleep. Larry, where's my wine at? I need some bubbly. Um, but um, okay, I see the fives coming in. I see the fives coming in. Great, great, great. Okay. So how to keep a team. So this is really, really, really important because if you get a team, but you can't keep it, then what's the point? What's the point of building with sand? We want to build with bricks. So to keep a team, you got to use the system and write this down system. I got this from Randy and Wanda Webb. A system is what, look, now I forgot all because I'm thinking about the wine all in my background. I'm thinking about the wine that I'm about to drink after this call, but that's okay. Um, system stands for saving yourself time, energy, and money. So system, plug your people into the system. And I got this part from C. John, three times a day, at least three sessions. We're doing New York trading sessions. We're, uh oh, he about to whoop one of the kids. Y'all close your ears. Ain't nobody need to be a witness to my kids getting whoopings. We're going to do um, three trading sessions a day. We're going to do the New York session. We're going to do, um, what's the other session? London. And we're going to do Asian. So there is, let me see if I can pull it up for y'all. Give me two seconds. We have Christopher Derrick. I know for sure for the London session, I actually got a um, cheat sheet for my team that I send them. And he is on Monday, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays at 1 a.m. Central. And this dude is a beast simply because his track record is crazy on average. Like on a bad week, do y'all want me to tell you what his um, win ratio is? on or What is it? His average ratio. 90 he's 90%. He's really consistent and on a good week he's 100%. So I get up and trade with him at 1 a.m. He's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So I plug my team in them. So cuz if they're making money, they're not leaving. They're not leaving if they're making money. New York session, we got Abel. Abel's nice with it. He'll answer your questions. He's not going to make you feel like you're stupid, dumb and don't know what it is cuz he's in the beginners um category of IML TV. So he's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Y'all y'all may be too young for that. I'm old. But uh, okay, so he's every single day of the week, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time, and he is New York session. Then lastly, we got the Asian session, and we got two different educators that I really love. And this is all my, um, my recommendations. You can watch any and everybody. We have over 60 educators on here, so it does not matter. But for Asian session, I'm going with Oren because he's nice with it. Do put on, um, he popped, locked, and dropped it to, um, I don't even remember the song, but he was getting it. He has the green screen and everything. He's going to keep you engaged the entire time. He's Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. And then we got Farron. The only reason I really, really love Farron because he is the harmonic scanner guy. Y'all know a harmonic scanner comes on every different um, package that we have in our, um, in, um, IML. So if you're on the guy who's the expert in harmonics, he's going to give you trades because all these people are giving you live trades. They're um, especially able. He's nice enough to, if you bring up your chart, you ask him if you charted this right, he's going to help you walk you through it. So that's one way of how to keep your team because you're getting them plugged into the system. Um, let me see if I did it. Oh, and plug them into the seven figure mentorship calls and the next wave calls. The seven figure mentorship calls are every Sunday and I don't remember the exact time. I think they're at nine, my time, central standard. And the um, next wave calls 
are Wednesday and I think they're 8.30 Central Standard Time, my time. So you got them plugged into something for their mindsets and then you have them plugged into something for their money. So they're, they're not going anywhere. They're not going anywhere. So the very last thing, so I can hurry up and get off of here and get these kids to make sure they get in bed, is how to duplicate your team. If y'all are still with me and still feeling me, can y'all drop a six in the chat for me? Drop a six in the chat if y'all are still in here, y'all still awake, y'all still feeling me, y'all receiving value. I'm gonna show y'all how to duplicate your team. All right, so duplicating your team, and I covered most of it with the webinars, so, uh, oh, I'm seeing the fire emojis. I'm loving, I'm loving, I'm loving. So duplicating your team, some of the main things was the webinars where they're doing it because now they're able to do that same thing where if they're bringing in someone new, they're getting on the webinar with them at this point and they're doing that, hey, you just need to get on the call just to tell why you even joined for it. Your part needs to be like three minutes long. And some of them get so comfortable. I had one girl I did that for. She came on in her bonnet. And she took up 10 whole minutes. I said, baby, I did not ask you. <laughs> no, I was just saying, I told her, thank you so much. You're amazing. Um, so they start to become really, really comfortable once they get on the camera and they start doing this um, little bits at a time. Um, what was the next step? Let's see. Where are we on? How to duplicate your team. So um, mainly just consistencies. And um, okay, so facts tell and stories sell. So stories and what I mean by that, not in the figurative, not in the figurative sense, but in the literal sense, stories tell. See, John, I tell you, if y'all watch my stories, like you don't even know what you're going to get. You may get the dogs, the cats. You may get my husband. You may get me doing some of everything on my stories. I keeps it real. Sometimes a little too real. I just did a live about how my husband was a beast in the sheets. He was like, whoa, baby, wait, what? Oh, sorry. But um, so stories, just being real, being transparent, having fun, enjoying life. And I do that through my stories. So the st my stories um, usually tell at the beginning, I wake up in the morning, I look like somebody's mama, but that's okay. So when I wake up, I'm usually telling them what I'm going to tell them that day, whether it's well, um, work with me Wednesday. So they're going to go to work with me behind the scenes. Um, oh, the cat then jumped out the box. What is really going on in my house? Um, <laughs> I really don't even know why. Why is the cat running? Jesus, the apocalypse. Um, so um, having your story, stories are everything because I don't even know the statistic, y'all. I'm not good with this stuff, but I think it's over ninety percent of people watch stories nowadays. Um, but having that, like um, Mondays are um, Money Mondays, Tuesdays are Take Profit Tuesdays. So having that theme every single day, telling a story then I'm really able to bring a lot of people in that way. Let me see if I covered everything. Consistently showing up every single day. Um, and let me just tell you, I kind of like a script of what I say when people get in my inbox or people ask me for info. So I always send them kind of like the what is IML website, just something duplicatable that any and everybody can do. Or what is it? Not what, what is IML, IMLpresentation.com. So after they've watched it, then I ask them, what did you like best? Can I go? Can you please go over each day? Like each day, oh, like what I do? Um, let's see, Mondays for me is called um, Money Mondays, Tuesdays are Take Profit Tuesday, Wednesdays are Work With Me Wednesdays. What do I call Thursdays? I don't know, I just make stuff up sometimes as I go, because some weeks is different. Um, I don't know, I'll just throw a theme out there. Um, what, what's another thing? With, I know, and I sometimes call Wednesday withdrawal Wednesdays because I'll do a random withdrawal and I'll let, let somebody see me withdraw from my Hugo's Way account. Um, I don't know. Give me something. It, it really doesn't matter. You can, whatever rhymes with Thursday or whatever, just you feel happy saying. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I just make something up for the days. Take profit. Okay, we'll go with that. Take profit Thursdays too. We can be taking profit every single day of the week. We cash it out. Um, I ask people, what did you like best about what you saw? You never ask them, um, did they like the video? You always ask them what they like best. Because if you ask them, well, I treat them basically not like a kid, but you have to do that because then you're controlling the conversation. What did you like best about everything you saw? Or whatever they like, you agree with it. Oh, I like that too. Okay, so on a scale of one to 10, one being not interested, 10 being I'm ready to get started now and pay for the training. Where do you stand? And if they answer anything lower than a nine, it's like, okay, how can we get you to a 10? That's all we're trying to find out right then and there. 
Um, and if they don't sign up instantly, which most don't, then you continuously follow up with them and invite them to the next webinar, invite them to the next um, meeting, invite them to the next um, event, local events in your city. Um, live streams, watch parties, whatever you're hosting, always invite, invite, invite. But I think that's about it because I'll keep talking. Yeah, I think that's about it. <laughs> all right, but, 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 and uh, Lydia, please, um, I'm going to go ahead just for the viewers. I want them to be able to hear this because I don't think a lot of people know this and we'll, we'll keep this on the hush hush, but can you tell them how you retire your husband and can you tell them about your son having residual income? Oh goodness. Okay. And, so and can you tell him about how he knows, he knows a little bit about trading? Like give him the full nine, please. Just, uh, you don't have man, to take too much time, dude, but give him that. Like, I don't even want to, I man, if he was down here, he'll tell you, he, he, he hops on my webinars all the time. So I'll host the webinars for the team. Um, and he'll hop on there cause he always comes down from stairs from not going to bed and he'll hop on there one time. He was just showing them his trend lines. He'll show them all that stuff. He actually helped take my trading to the next level because I used to be like, um, Okay, so I'm going to trade, I'm going to buy when it's in the uptrend, I'm going to sell when it's going down, all that good stuff. But then when I see consolidation, I was still trying to make it work, trying to make it happen. And he'll be like, no, mom, I can't trade the zigzags. And I'm like, you know what? I'm doing too much because I'm always trying to trade the zigzags. I'm always trying to trade the consolidation. So I realized that, hey, and then I got better. So now I can trade consolidation because if I put them channels on it, I'm, I'm at it. But he's five years old, Melissa. He's five and he started trading when he was four. It was June I want to say the eighth because I think it um, Facebook just reminded me of his anniversary. So he wanted a Paw Patrol boat, I think, and I just bought him a Paw Patrol submarine, something. He he has a whole collection of it, and I'm like, you're not getting it because you just got that. It's not like we ain't got the money, but you don't need to be a spoiled little brat. And he's like, well, you know what? I'm gonna learn how to trade because he sees me make um, cash out. He sees me buy everything on Amazon. We we get the groceries delivered, everything is delivered. My husband used to make fun of me. He was like, babe, this is when he was working. He said, man, I get the um, I go home and bring home the bacon. I go out and bring home the bacon, but you get the bacon delivered. I was like, ah, I'm that sugar mama, but I'm not for I am. But um, <laughs> so he was like, um. My son was seeing me all the time, just being able to order stuff, make money and not have to leave the house, all that good stuff while his dad was out just like slaving. So he started learning how to trade Forex and got really good at it because he was swing trading. When he would go to school, right before he go to school on his iPad, he would look at it to tell whether it was going up or down. He would basically just stay in the trades all day. It's really small lot size. So at the end of the day, he didn't make them probably like five, ten dollars when he first started out with the lower lot size. But he would come home and you would think he was Bill Gates. Because he'd be like, oh, I'm up money. And I'm like, dude, it's $10. Sit down. Please sit down. So he was super excited about that. And the, the day that um, my husband decided to quit, it was the day I did a live stream. It was about um, giving, if you give someone the ability to feed you, you also give the, them the ability to starve you. And he was like, you know what? You're right. Because he'd been contemplating quitting for so long. But like so many people, they're comfortable. So he was comfortable with his income. He was comfortable where he was. We weren't struggling or anything like that, but he just was, he was comfortable. It wasn't like, uh, whatever, but he realized that, yeah, if he gave them the ability to feed him, he also gave them the ability to starve. Him. So he ended up quitting that day. He put the notice in and we all were like, oh my God, I can't believe it. He's, I think he'd been there over set, um, between six to seven years, six and a half years. Cause I was at my job, I think seven years when I quit as well too, but he quit and it was just an amazing day. And then recently, I think in the last, Three months ago, I bought him a truck. He's been wanting a truck, so I got him a nice truck. So he pretty much gets whatever he wants. Because it's like having that time freedom, having that financial freedom that only Forex can give. Because I've tried so many different things and never have I been with a company or been able to do something where it's just amazing. It's amazing. So, yep, that's our um our little family story. My little daughter wants to trade now. She um she has her candles on my on my um. Let me see if I can show y'all. So y'all see, I got two charts here. I got a pink, I don't know if y'all can see it. Hold on. I got a pink and purple for her little, um, I, um, I don't like pink and purple. She likes pink and purple. So these are her charts. She's trying to learn how to trade. And these are my charts. I like purple and yellow. So she is three and she really wants to get into it. But I'm building her a Shopify store so she can sell um, girl clothes. Cause I was like, I don't know if I want you trading already. I can't, I can't take everybody being a trader in the family. So She's about to be um, 
doing her little thing because she wants to be an entrepreneur too. Sheesh. Hey, Lydia, appreciate you for giving us those keys. Appreciate you for sharing those testimonies. Guys, I told you that, you know, Lydia is, is powerful. Like, I'm telling you, she's a queen. Like, you know, for her kid being able to trade, like, that's just crazy. Like, he, he knows the pairs. He knows the acronyms. Like, it, it's just amazing. And for her being able to, you know, retire her husband and, like, you know, that's a boss move. That's a boss move. Not everybody's doing that. So I hope you guys got some empowerment behind that. Um, Lydia, if you could put your social media down there so people could show you some love, uh, just type it in real quick, just so people could show you some love. She's super, super consistent on Instagram. Like she's the most consistent person I know besides her upline. Yeah, and Delisa her, her is way, is way, her way more consistent than me. <laughs> her, up, her upline is Jaleesa Chairman 10. And yes. The second most consistent person is Lydia. Like, on Instagram. Like, more than the Chairman 50s, more than the cha Like, I can't make this up. She's super, super consistent. If you watch her story every day, she's going to give you a show. So, uh, follow her. You know, maybe if you got some nuggets, you know, from her, maybe tag her in a quote, something she said that really uh, resonated yes. with you just to show your gratitude. Um, yes, you know, she's do that. Really and pretty profitable. That's my um, Instagram and on Facebook. I'm just Lydia Parker. Hayes, but yeah, and my, I was gonna tell you too. My son gets on Orange session. He loves him because Orange taught him his ABCs. He calls it that. He shows him the W's, how they bring the market up, the M's bring the market down. So LJ has been on his sessions as well too, because Orange's nice and simple and easy with it. Sheesh, man, Lydia, I appreciate you for dropping on the call. Drop some sevens for her real quick. Drop some sevens for gratitude. If y'all got some value from that, I I think she absolutely killed it. I've never heard. You know, somebody retiring their husband, somebody's kid is trade. Like I've never seen that or heard that before until I met Lydia. So I'm I'm blessed and grateful to have her on this call with you guys and bring you guys value. Um, the next person I'm gonna bring up, he is, you know, his energy, man. I, I think that's what attracted me and him together to, you know, to gel is his energy. He's out of Boston, you know, he used to he used to be a, a sprint manager at a cell phone company. Um, and you know, he's going to go over, you know, his story. He's going to go over some, some, uh, some tools that his favorite tools that he uses. And also he's going to go over like event etiquette, you know, how to run an event effectively and go over some tools. So, um, this guy, he loves and care about a lot of people. You're going to hear it when he speaks, like, I'm telling you, like this guy is going to bring fight. So if you guys ever wanted to run an event, you never knew how to start, you know, He's going to give you some keys and some nuggets on how to do so. So, my brother Gio, hop on a call, light this thing on fire, drop some drop ones in the chat if you're ready for Gio right now. What's going on, everybody? Let me see some ones in the chat if you guys are getting value today. Big shouts to Lydia. She absolutely shut it down. How to start up a team, how to keep a team, which is the most important thing. You know, her favorite products are, are some of the products that I use, some of the products that I've found success. The educators that she mentioned are the educators that, you know, I'm faithfully logging into their sessions because they're actually teaching how to be profitable in the foreign exchange market. So a little bit about myself. My name is Gio. I'm 28 years old. I'm from Boston, Massachusetts. Like C. John mentioned, prior to me learning about foreign exchange, I was a store manager. Um, I had a nice salary job. I was working 50, 60 hours at Sprint. Um, if you guys have Sprint, you know, I say I hate Sprint now uh, simply because I'm no longer an employee there, right? So I made it. I went from regular retail consultant to store manager in about a year and a half. It was a really good paying job, but I didn't have the time freedom that I wanted. I couldn't do the things that I wanted to do on a daily basis. So when I find iMarkets Live and when I found trading, I went all in and in order to start balling, you have to be all in. So blessed to say after about eight months uh, uh, of consistent trading, consistently hopping on to the sessions, I was able to quit my job and buy back my freedom. And over the past year and two months, I've been 100% unemployable. So I'm living solely off the foreign exchange market and my residual income. And I'm here to tell you guys how I was able to reach Platinum 1000 in the first 60 days I was in this business. So the person in the front of the room gets paid the most money. 
You guys want to get into a habit where you feel comfortable explaining, you know, iMarkets Live and that presentation. So in order to start being comfortable with the presentation, you want to develop your story. Who you are, who you were, regular retail consultant, a store manager. I was all about making more people more money, making, you know, my employees, making my friends more money. So what I didn't like was that I was a slave to that system. I was constantly working. I didn't have my nights. I didn't have my weekends. I didn't have my holidays. In order to take a vacation, I had to request it. In order to take a day off, I had to request it. So if, you're, if you relate to that, you can make that a part of your story, a part of the reason why you didn't like the individual you were before. Now, leading into foreign exchange, how that's changing your life. What kind of uh, future you see yourself having? Story, who you were before, and what your future is looking into, you know, what your future is looking like uh going forward you're going to want to learn the presentation learn the actual slides so you're part of a very blessed team you know the dream team we have a system already in place with different calls all throughout the day different educators from men's different people who have been in this company for different amounts of time basically giving you their presentation you know and incorporating it and you want to read the slides word for word because you're gonna sound like a robot rather you want to tell a story right facts tell stories sell so tell people how IML Academy has improved your learning in the foreign exchange market tell people how you know there's different sessions on IML TV all times of the day like Lydia mentioned, you know, Orange Wright sessions, M's and W's, um, Abel Melendez going over basics, the different harmonics, uh, scanner educators that we have. Tell the stories of how these guys are helping you learn about the foreign exchange market. And you want to make it personal, right? The crowd doesn't know the presentation. Most times, the people in the crowd are seeing it for the first time. So don't be afraid of messing up. And if you make a mistake, just regain your thoughts, you know, take a second, and go right back to it you guys use the products you guys use the services it's just a matter of talking about them so as you get you know into the flow of, of delivering that presentation you want to start to avoid filler words words like um, words like like words like you know right so that your presentation can get smoother and smoother and so the person in the front of the room the person with the microphone the person with the marker they're making the most money see john you saw i'm breaking up a little bit They're the person that's making the most money. So as part of the team, you want to get into a habit of hosting at least, you know, one big event every two weeks. In order to host events, there's, there's an app called Breather. Breather in, in big cities like New York, San Francisco, Boston, Miami, they have different office spaces that you can rent, you know, at an hourly rate. You can do events at different community centers. You can do events at different colleges. You know, whether it's their, you know, student center, a main area, and if you're lucky, in a classroom. You can do events in luxury apartments. So if you have somebody on your team who lives in a very nice apartment and they have a business area downstairs, you can do an event there. If you know somebody who works at a, at a hotel, right now I'm staying at a Marriott. You know, hotels have business areas in them. They have conference spaces. What's the name of the app for the hourly? Uh, it's Breather breather app and on there you'll find rooms for less than a hundred dollars they actually even have a referral code where you say who is i book today's event maybe c john's booking the next event lydia's booking the next event joe mar's booking the next event and what we're doing is we're sending each other 
that you know that link so that you can save those forty five dollars. Things like community uh, centers, the library, you can host a free event. So you don't have to go out of pocket in order to have that nice big event, in order to tell other people. So go to your local. Well, library, library is usually you, you guys can host an event knows? there. If you got somebody, somebody else flyers, flyers, reach out. Media has somebody, somebody, somebody who, see John had you know, can, can, can edit a picture and make it look nice. Um, is Gio there? Gio, you still there, brother? Yeah, I'm here, bro. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, your your phone uh or something. I mean, I'm mute you. Smooth. So have that oh, flyer good. so you can promote it. With that flyer, you can put it up on social media, right? Instagram, Facebook, they have ways where you can promote this flyer and get it in the faces of different people, you know, people who you don't follow. So, you know, if you have to pay $10 to promote this flyer for the next seven days, that's a good investment because it's going to put it in front of people who aren't seeing this, people who don't know you. And as you guys already know, your uh, strangers are going to believe in, in, in this way before your friends do. And the reason is because your friends see you as, you know, broke person, you know, from the hood or from the neighborhood, the person that I went to school with, you know, the class clown, whatever the case is. So when you put this in front of strangers, they're going to see an opportunity a lot faster. Um, the types of hotels with those spaces are for business travelers. Important that the people know this fact too. Big, big facts, big facts. Business travelers, if you rent a room, you can find out information. If you know somebody who works there, maybe they can rent it for you. Maybe they can get you a deal. Definitely tax write-offs. So what I like to do, every time I have an event, every time I have a flyer, I'm sending that flyer picture to every single person in my Snapchat. I'm going list for list, you know, person for person and sending them that picture just to get an interaction. Whether, they, whether you know, they're busy that day, whether they're interested and can't make it, whether they're going to be there. Now I know and I have a list and I have an idea of who's interested in my business. You know, club promoters do this all the time when they have a big event, they have an artist coming, they're going to send you a text message, they're going to send you a DM, right? So why not us? Why not spread the word on financial literacy? Set up an event, an event bright, an event brit, right? This is a website where people can go and RSVP, you know, uh, a seat at the event. By RSVP, and you have a general idea of who's going to come. So what I like to do is I like to buy a big, let's say a 24 or 48-pack of waters from like Stop and Shop or BJ's or Publix for like 5 $6 and say if you RSVP your spot, you're going to get a free drink, right? If you RSVP your spot, you're securing that seat. And I say seats are limited. By saying seats are limited, that creates that sense of urgency. You better get these tickets now because if you don't get them now, it's going to sell out. It's going to sell out. And when you have that event, don't put as many chairs as the room fits. Put a little bit of chairs. And as people are coming, start adding more and more chairs in the back. That's going to, you know, make it seem like, hey, people are really, you know, coming into them. They weren't expecting that many people. They had to add chairs. So it's going to create that hype, right? It's, it, you know, this, it, it, in a sense, you have to add a little hype to it. You have to be like, like the rapper or the music artist that's promoting their video even before, you know, they make it to that lead. You want to show people that you guys have something going on, right? So one big event every two weeks. But in between those big events, you want to have a whole bunch of small events. So you want to do different, different home events. You want to pull up to your new prospect. Let's say you just signed up somebody today. Somebody just got started with the business. Go up to their house. Tell them, hey, call your friends. Tell them, meet you at the house right now. These are the guys who, if you were to catch a flat tire today, you're calling them for help. These are the guys who, you know, it's your mom's birthday. These guys are coming to your house to say happy birthday to your mom, right? So invite, you know, people to your house and present that opportunity. 
Use Matt Rosa's four-step invite. Use Eric Worre's perfect invite in order to, you know, gain uh, people's excitement, gain people's commitment uh, to make it to your house. And when you have them at home, present this opportunity as if you're in front of 50 people because you want to develop the habits. You want to get comfortable in your own skin so that you can start presenting in front of people. Uh, Kristen, you asked, where is that? Uh, I'm not sure what you're asking. Where is what? Um, so have a raffle, you know, uh, something that me and my team do, uh, we go over to Target and at Target, they, they have a sale for a laptop, let's say for, for $200. If you can get 10 people to throw down $20, that's going to, you know, create that much more excitement. Now you're raffling off a laptop. Now you have to be here. And it doesn't matter if the person isn't going to get started with your business, but if you can fill the room it's going to create that much more excitement right so i tell people even if you're not going to join you know come up you know my closing rate i'm closing about 70 percent of the people who i talk to so be one of those three that aren't going to join the business but come show me support come come see what it is that i'm doing and people are going to come you always want to dress to impress right so make sure you and your team are dressing nicely slats you know nice dresses nice blouses because this is a business you're going into, you know, into business with like-minded individuals, people who see more. So you don't want to be dressed down. You never know who's in the room. You could have your next chairman 500 right in front of you. So whether there's one person in the room or 50 people in the room, get into the habit of presenting the same way every single time with the same excitement because quality over quantity, that one person could be the one person to take your business from Platinum 150, Platinum 600 to, let's say, maybe a Platinum 2K because they give you so much leg volume and now you don't have to worry about that one leg, right? So those are kind of the, the, the keys that I follow when, you know, hosting a, an event. Promoting, promoting, promoting. Promoting is key, word of mouth. You guys can, can hand out flyers. You guys can slide uh, uh, flyers under doors. You guys can pay on social media to promote those different flyers. But the more people you're getting in, in front of, the more people are going to come to those events and create that excitement. So that's how I got to Platinum 1000 in, in, in about two months. I'm sure that if you follow these keys, you'll be able to hit you know, some of these goals. Maybe not in two months, maybe a lot faster. It might take you a little bit longer, but these things work. And the question is, do you guys work? Again, my Instagram is East Coast G. I'm writing it down in the chat. If you guys have any questions, please don't hesitate to type them in now. Ah, appreciate you, Gio. Man, you just gave us some nuggets. I'm not going to lie. You know, I'm ready to start doing events now, you know, uh, because he, he definitely gave me a lot of insight. I love the chair scenario where you put less chairs in there. Like, I wrote down a bunch of things that he that he said that stood out to me um, that we haven't even talked about. So I, I love that, you know, that he was able to bring you guys value, um, being able to hit, you know, P1000 in, in two months. You know, he's, he gave you guys the blueprint, right? Um, I did want to ask you, Gio, um, what was your favorite product? What's your favorite product and what, what are you using right now? Like, what, what product are you using? Hands down, hands down, hands down. My favorite product right now is Swipe Coin. Crypto Picasso, the GOAT. He's been on ever traded Bitcoin. You know that you don't need a lot of money in order to see, you know, good profits. Bitcoin moves thousands of pips, hundreds of pips in minutes. So even on a 0 .01, you can see some good returns if you catch, you know, a sexy entry. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Gio, appreciate you. Guys, I'll, I'll go over a few things um, of how I build a little bit. Um, how have I been able to duplicate? What, what are some things that I do to keep up retention? I'll give you guys some of my tips that I use for trading and um, some of the tools that I use as well. Um, so first and foremost, if you guys don't know me, um, C. John um, from the Bronx. I, I did everything I was supposed to do. I went to college. I got a degree in communications, minor in entrepreneurship. I did not go to school for, co uh, for, for college. I just went to play football. 
Uh, I played at the Division II school, Gannon University and Erie PA. Um, I did that and I got hurt my last two years playing football. And, you know, from there, you know, things kind of shifted for me. And I was just like that. Like, I don't really know who I am because I played sports all my life. Um, you know, I was a three-sport athlete in high school. Like, I, to, to, to be honest, like, I, I did a lot of good stuff in, college, uh, in high school. And then in college, you know, it was just a lot of trials. Like, you know, my first two years was smooth. And then my last, my last two was, you know, it was a little rocky. But, um, you know, finished school, you know, I worked at a radio station where I was a radio host, um, hosting, you know, doing sports shows. Um, I did afternoon drive time. I did that as well. I also did marketing for the NBA B League. So, you know, a lot of people was looking at me like, yo, you're very, very successful, you know, but they didn't know I was living paycheck to paycheck. So, you know, I, I made it look good. I'll be honest with you. I made it look good. You know, you know, I was on my story still marketing, like, yo, I'm here, such and such. I was doing, I was taking pictures, you know, with some, you know, with some stars and stuff like that. I was in places that you don't see regular people at, you know, those are the things that I was doing. Um, and, you know, from there, you know, how I got started, if you guys don't know, um, I actually, you know, was on Instagram, you know, scrolling and the first person I actually saw um, trading with this guy named Gus, and that was in September. But I didn't. His name is his name is Wealthy Pips. If you guys know him, he was the first person I saw doing it. After I saw him doing it, I saw about two, maybe three others doing it. And I actually reached out to one of my friends, and I said, "Yo, you you do this?" And he was like, "I'm doing it, but I'm not really doing it." So I was confused. I was like, "Yo, it's either you doing it or you." Or you doing it? Like, what, what you talking about? He was like, I'm in, but I'm not in. I'm like, yo, I don't know what you're in. I just want to learn how to trade, bro. <laughs> like, what were you talking about? Then I, then I looked up and I saw maybe two other people doing it. And the only person that kind of, I kind of was like, yo, let me stick with my gut and go with the first person I actually saw doing it. So, you know, I decided to, uh, you know, reach out to him. And, you know, from there, I was kind of like, yo, like, I don't know what you do or whatever. I don't know exactly what you do, but I know you're doing something with investing. You know, I'm interested. Let's have a talk. And, you know, from there we spoke and I didn't lock in that same day, but I locked in the next day. And um, pretty much it, it was just, it, he, he became like, you know, like, like a family member, you know, he, can, he became like, you know, somebody who he was talking every day. And, you know, from there, it was just like, you know, he did a lot, he did a lot for me, you know, and I appreciate him a lot uh, for the things he do. And, you know, but let's, let's, let's get, let's stick on task and let's go ahead and talk about duplicating, right? Because everybody want to duplicate, everybody want to hit the next ranks, right? So drop a two in the chat if you're still with me. So we can go ahead and get these nuggets because what I'm about to give y'all is, is a lot of sauce right now. I promise. Like, I can't make this up. I'm going to give you a lot of sauce right now. Um. If you, if you really want to get to the next level, I'm telling you, after this call, I believe that what you got from Lydia, me, and Gio, I believe that in the next 30 days, there will be ranks popped on your team. I believe that. I solely believe that, right? Um, so the first thing, right, when, when it comes to duplicating, just to give you guys a little background about, like, I did some stats on my team, right? So, you know, within the last three to four months, we popped at least – three or four P600s. At minimum, we popped two P1000s. So in the last four months, each month, that's what we were doing. That's the ratio that it was going at. And it was just duplicating, 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 duplicating. And a lot of people was trying to figure out, they was hitting up Gus like, yo, like, not, not, it wasn't only the leg that I'm on with Gus, it was the other leg too. And it was like, how are you guys doing this? And, you know, I was doing mines a little bit before, you know, uh, his, his other leg went out of control as well so far as, like, you know, on an uptrend and, and, and hit that hit that impulse move. But I was already doing it, right? But the one thing that I do, and I, and I think that everybody, is you got to build that trust with your team. Like, you can't just hit people up about trading. Like, you actually got to care about these people. Like, you know, sometimes I'll call somebody up and they'll be like, oh, you know, I was trading. I'll say, bro, sis, like, I didn't even call you about trading. Like, I'm calling to see how you're doing. I'm calling to see how the family's doing. It's like, oh, the family good and everything like that. And I'm just like, all right, bet, bro. Like, we'll talk tomorrow. Like, I'm not even talking about trading. Like, I I'm really talking about, like, 
how are you doing? Because life happens, right? Life happens. And then next thing you know, if I'm talking about trading, how, how does that reflect on my integrity? Right? Like, oh, you only care about my success when I'm, when I'm winning and trading, but you don't care about how I, what I'm going through in life. So, you know, I'm very, very different. Some people, they, you know, they build a certain way. But me, I want to build a relationship with the newest customer. Write this down. The, the, the most important person in the business is the newest person that just came in. Why? Because they have the fresh contacts. We didn't contact nobody on their contact list. Fresh contacts, right? That's new blood, right? That's the newest person that came in. That's the mo not the chairman 10, not the chairman 50. The most important person in the business is the newest person that just got started. And if within those seven days, if we don't get a blueprint for that person, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. So the first thing I want to do, right, is, is I want to go ahead and welcome Gio to the team, right? That's the, the most important thing is the welcome to the team, right? So if I invite Lydia to my family reunion and everybody's like, hey, Lydia, she feels at home. That's how the group chat needs to reflect. Like, it needs to be like a family reunion. Soon as they get in the group chat, I don't care what you're doing. I don't care if you FaceTime your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your husband, your wife putting the kid diaper on i don't care you gotta put that welcome to the team it only takes two seconds that right there has been like some of the pinnacle of things going in the uptrend for me why because when people came in they just like yo i feel i feel good like the way they made me feel and then we got people doing extra stuff like yo whatever you need hit me that's random like you didn't even enroll this person is somebody saying that in the group chat you got to show love, right? If I, I feel like no one can beat me at showing more love. Like, even when I post that in, like, big group chats with leaders, nobody takes me on the challenge because I know that I'm going to bring the most love no matter what. And, and I thrive on that, right? I'm always going to show more love than you show me, right? I always, I, I always want to do that, right? So let's get into building, right? The first thing, if your team don't have a calendar, if your newest person don't have a calendar, we can't work together at all. I'm going to just plug them in. They're going to funnel in in the, in the group chats and they're going to, they're going to find their way. But if you don't have a, if you don't have a, a, a calendar, right. I'm going to show you guys a calendar, right. I'm going to show you that it's filled up, right. I'm not going to, I can't lie on here. Right. So this was, this was, this was May, right. This was May, right. This was May, right. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and show you, right. May wasn't really filled up on this side, but then this, this May was filled up. We didn't get no signups on this side because it's empty, right? But we got signups on this side, right? Because we started filling it in, right? Right? So I, I, I can't make this up. I can't make this up. Look, everything is booked. Whatever you track, it grows. So if you don't have a calendar, you wasting your own time. If, if, if you want to build, you wasting your own time and you're not really serious. You're not really serious. The next thing is I need a hundred names, right? I need a hundred names on the paper, right? Give you a prime example. I went, I went to Las Vegas, we went to the Las Vegas event. As soon as we went to, I, I was just about to talk about her. Wow. That's crazy. Next thing you know, Jalisa, I said, one of my boys, I said P1000. And he was like, yo, how, how she in his rank? I said, won't you ask her? He asked her, guess what she did? Chairman 10. She pulled out three pages of paper of loose leaf and they all had names on them. At Chairman 10? We got P600s not even doing that, but you want to go to the next level. You're crazy. You're crazy. My, my boy Tariq, he's out here in New York City with me. About to, he's about to smash P2000, right? He hit, P, he hit P1000, has a list. Yo, like, we coming back from the event. Yo, I still got to hit up this person. I'm like, bro, this boy still done. He's still looking at that list. That's crazy. And he's still helping his team duplicate. But if you don't have 100 names, it's, it's, it's over. It's, it's like you don't have a blueprint. So calendar, right? 100 names. 
Now, how do you get your team to do that, right? You ask them a question, right? Gio, um, do I have permission to be real with you? He says, yes. I said, okay, cool. Keyword, write this down. Can I count on you to get a calendar in the next 48 hours? Can I count on you to get a calendar in the next 48 hours? Yeah, that count on you is like, that's accountability. And I'm like, yeah, I can get that. If you don't know where to get it, I'm giving them resources now. You can go to the dollar store, you can go to Walmart, Target, you can go to all these Marshalls, you can go to all these places. They're like, all right, bet. And they're and they ready to listen now, right? Can I count on you to get 100 names on paper? Now, this one, you're going to have some pushback sometimes, right? So we don't want to we don't want to refrain from a list. I need names on a paper. I don't care how many. So 100 names, I don't know 100 people. Cool, cool, cool. Give me 50. I know you know 10 in high school, 10 people that play sports, 10 people that's on Instagram, 10 people that's on Snapchat, 10, 10 cousins, 10 people who you grew up with. I know that's 60 right there, right? So let's write names blindly. I don't care who you want to get in your business. I just want the names on the paper. That's it. That's all I want. Right? So the next one is the most important one. And this is my favorite, right? It's the three-way call. After each webinar, if you are not doing a three-way call after, you're doing yourself a disservice. You're doing yourself a disservice. Right? If Geo, right, has a prospect on and that prospect finished getting on a call, it's three way call time. It's PS3 time. Let's play some video games now. Right? This is my favorite part because I feel like the wolf on Wall Street when I'm closing. Like, I feel like that. Right? And, and some of you might have problems closing, right? I'm going to give you some tips on closing, right? This is my favorite, right? Today I was on a I was on a call with one of my one of my guys from Tampa, right? His name is Clayton. And this one girl came on. And most times you got if you guys can hop on Darwin's webinars, if you guys don't have it, just shoot me a DM. Um his webinars, he goes over the colors and stuff like that. So you can know personalities. So me, I'm already knowing. I'm like, Clayton, who are you getting on the call and how to uh, give me a little bit about this person. Oh, she's going for an MCAT, she just finished her degree, she's waiting a year before she goes to med school. I'm like, all right, dope. I already know she's smart. I already know she can retain information. But I already know all she know is school, right? All she know is be a, be a nurse, be a doctor, right? That's all she knows. So I'm like, okay, cool. We get on the call, right? And we start talking. And the first thing she starts talking about is, yeah, like, I know I seen how much it is. You know, it, I think it was like 300, which means she wasn't paying attention. I said, no, it's 225 actually to get started. She said, okay. So the monthly, though, I said, yeah, it's about 165. All, you know, all together, you know, a month. She's like, yeah, I'm not sure if I could do that. I said, okay, um, do you, you already saw yourself paying that bill already? And she was like, I mean, I said, all right, well, there's two ways where you can get rid of the bill. You can trade and, and we can help you get two and free. I said, but I want you to dream with me real quick, right? I want you to, I want you to listen. If time and money wasn't an issue, where would you go in the world? She goes, I want to go to Greece. I said, cool. So paint a picture now, right? Because you got to get people to see a vision. People don't know that they can visualize, right? But you got to help them do it, right? So now visualizing, right? She wants to go to Greece. Okay, what does that look like? What does the weather look like? Her name, her name was, um, what was her name? Uh, I forget her name. Ronnie. Her name was Ronnie. I said, Ronnie, what does that look like? She's like, I hope it's warm. I want it to be warm. I said, no, no, no. What does it look like for you? How? She's like, I want to see nice skies and I want to be warm. I said, okay, cool. I said, do you want to go to the beach? She was like, yeah, I want to, uh, you know, yeah, I want to go to the beach. I said, what does the sand look like? What does the water look like? She goes, a white sand, you know, the water is clear, warm, like, ah, this well. I said, okay, cool. She, so she's explaining what she wants to see. I'm like, okay, cool. I said, uh, any type of food you, you see yourself eating? She was like, maybe some fruits and maybe their cultural food and stuff like that. I said, okay, cool. I said, cool. I said, well, one, I said, just know that you just was visualizing with me and, and you saw it before it happened, right? So let's let's see it before it happens. So she saw it and I said, now we can go ahead and we can go get that done. So let's get you to go to Greece. So she said, oh, she started laughing. She was like, okay. And I was like, I need you to see the same thing with trading, right? 
I said, now these are my three keys. Y'all can use them if y'all want. I thought y'all can steal them if y'all want. Is consist, right? Be coachable, right? I said, if you're not coachable, right? Consistent. And if you don't participate, if you don't do these three things, you will lose. But you told me you don't have 165. So that means that me and you got to be besties for the next 30 days. Let's roll. Let's run. Let's get it done right now. Right? Let's get it done right now. So she goes, wow, like, I, she told me this. I feel like this can be done because I just spoke to you. And then all it is is casting vision. Right? We got to start to cast vision. Sometimes you don't even have to hard close like that. Sometimes you're just asking a few questions, and then after that, it's cool. But those are some of the things that I do because I, I, I love, I can't let you get off the phone without telling me a date. And the reason why we have a calendar, right, is because if Gio says, yo, I want to get, um, I don't have the money yet. I'm like, cool. When will you have the money out? Can you take your calendar out, right? And can you look for which day would you want to get started? Because we track everything and we keep everything, you know, you know, in order. He goes, um, the 12th. I'm like, all right, Lydia, write down in the calendar your 12th. Um, let's get ready to work with Gio and, you know, let's run. Let's run. You my, you my new bestie. You my new bestie now. And you're building the relationship. You're building that, building, you know, being comfortable, right? So after you do that, you're good, right? So those are my three keys. Remember those, right? Um, vision, right? Mindset, right? Your people that are coming in, most likely they're working a job probably. So they're thinking like a nine to five. So we have to get them to unthink like that, right? So mindset is very, very important. You need to be sending these new prospects within the first 14 days. You need to be sending them a five minute audio or under. Audio on YouTube or, or SoundCloud, something. You need to be sending them something and say, hey, I was thinking about you, not talking about trading. I was thinking about you. You can even write that. We're not talking about trading. And I wanted to share this with you. Has to be five minutes or less. If it's not five minutes or less, you're wasting your time. They're not going to watch it. An hour, they're probably not going to watch it. Right? So, that, so that's one of the things that I do, right? Or I reach out to somebody on my team and I say, hey, can you reach out to this person and see if they need help with anything? They've heard it from me a hundred times. Just need you to do me a favor. They go ahead and they do it, boom. They're like, oh, such and such, you know, help me out, right? The next thing is I only work with the 20%. I only work with the 20%. I can't, I have over a hundred and some people on my team. I, I can't work with everybody, right? So I could work with certain people at a certain time, but I, I work with, I talk to the 20% most of the time. So that's P600 and up, sometimes, sometimes P150s. But I'm talking to the leaders and I'm and I'm building them up because if you don't build these leaders up, people are gonna hit P600 and they're going to derank and they're not gonna know how to do it. Right? So you have to hold calls together, right? You gotta have that one-on-one, -on -one, I call it windshield time. You gotta have windshield time with some of those P600s. Call them up. Yo, I was thinking about you, you hit P600. I wanna help you take it to the next level. Who are two or three people that we could kind of just work with and just go, you know, for the next 30 to 60 days, can we just tap into their network? So it's just like, all right, bet. They give me those. I start working with them. Like now I've been doing this part time. Now that I'm 24 seven, like it's, it's really about to get crazy. Like it's really about to get crazy. I'm going to have a, a lot of time to do this. But those are the things that I do, like working with the 20%, right? Another thing, I want them to write three goals. Yo, within a year, what three goals you want to hit, right? I want it to be about, IML, I want it to be about life, and I want it to be about trading. I need three goals within the year. I'm already thinking they're going to – see how I'm casting vision that they're going to stay in for a year, right? For I'm Yearly goals, not, nine, not 30, 60, 90, not, not none of that. I want the year goal because I want you to be in this for a year. I'm not telling them that, but I'm playing with language so they can understand what's going on, right? So that's, uh, so mindset, the 20% and the goals, right? That's that, right? Uh, my favorite product, I'm gonna just go over that and then we'll open it up for Q&A. You guys can ask us any questions for either Lydia, Gio, or, or, or uh, yeah, or Lydia, Gio, or me. And um, 
you can just ask it and we all could tackle the question at once. It doesn't, um, one at a time, it doesn't matter. Um, but my last thing, um, my favorite two products, somebody just hit me up from like a different organization. He said, yo, who are the swipe traders you use? <laughs> so swipe trade, swipe trade is big right now. For the last 60, 60 days, swipe trade has been hitting, right? Um, you got you got one of my mentors, Ricky, is key to pips. You got Zahar is trade smarts. He's an animal. Um, you got Tim Trades. He just hopped on. He's been doing great as well. Um, you have uh, this guy named um, what's his name? Um, it's like two more, two or three more swipe traders. I only take them, and man, like people have just been flipping accounts, taking these trades blindly. Um, if you take just the ones that I like, swipe trades went in the last two to three months, they went 70%. If you just take the traders that I sent you, it'll be over 70%, right? So that I use the, the swipe trades and I also use the Hamani scanner as well. Like the scanner is big, that's the, still the go to no matter what. Um, but recently I've been looking at a uh, price trap because of Lydia, Lydia have been talking about Christopher Derrick you know, 90%, you know, on that thing. So I'm about to hop on that. You feel me? We don't need no money on the table. And I plug my team into products. If you are having your people depend on people for trading, absolutely, gonna, it's not going to, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. Got to plug them into the system. System, right? The Spurs have a system. The Lakers have a system. The Warriors have a system. The Yankees have a system. Those are teams that win. Teams that got systems win, right? Come on, baby. Like, come on. We we not. All right. So, any questions you got in the chat box? Um, just go ahead and uh, ask your question. It could be about building. It could be about anything. You know, how how did your first thirty days? Like, how did you become profitable? Like, anything. Right. If you could write in the chat. I always like to say, like, if you're not, if you're not P5000, you should always have a question no matter what. I go to every event, I have a question for somebody all the time, no matter what. If it, it doesn't matter if I know these people and I went to the presentation three times, I'm formulating another question that I need to ask. And I never leave an event without asking a question. Like, next week I'm going to Atlanta. Let's believe I'm going to be talking to Alex Morton. Let's believe I'm going to be talking to David Umanite if I get a chance. All right, so what was the most difficult task you had to face building your team? Let's let Lydia go first, and then we'll let Gia go next. All right, let's see. The most difficult thing, it was always retention, especially in the beginning when you first start. You're excited and you think everybody sees the same vision and everyone's going to stay. So that was always just the most difficult thing. When you see someone quit your organization, you feel like you fail. You feel like it's because of you when it's not because of you. So that's always been the biggest thing. And that's why I started that, trying to find a way to keep my people because that's just, it's inevitable. People are going to quit. Even, even with the best system, people are going to quit. So. But that was always the um, the challenging part of plugging them into the system and keeping them. Retention is definitely a big one, Lydia. Uh, the most difficult task for me is duplication. Getting people to, to want to do the things that are going to help them become successful. And I've taken, you know, a couple of pages out of C. John's books. Uh, so shout out to C. John for helping me out. But casting vision. Um, Asking people, you know, directly, can I count on you to do this? Uh, and, and holding them accountable, you know, when they make that commitment. And, and I'm overcoming, you know, that difficult task. But duplication has been the toughest thing for me. See, John, you're muted, bro. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so the most difficult task you have face uh, face building your team, um, man, um, it's it's kind of tough uh, to to have difficulties now. But in the beginning, it was it was tough just finding like minded people, um, and that was my issue. I was trying to find people, and I needed to attract them 
in my business, right? I'm not, it's not, you don't go out and find money on the floor. You have to attract money to you, right? The only people who, who, who make, who go out and make money is, is the Federal Reserves when they print it, right? They make it. You have to attract that money to you, right? So I had to attract these, these individuals in my business and I'm, I'm very grateful for them now. So um, now it's just kind of like, they've been going on their own now being leaders and now it's you know just keeping everybody making keeping tabs on everybody i think that's my biggest that's that's my biggest thing right now um so far as that um let's see what are the questions we got do you have any do you know of any events all right i'll take this uh i'll take this one just because i have a big team in orlando tampa so darlin just um just d uh dm me dm me on uh that's my instagram just dm me and i'll plug you in uh you can go ahead and my team does events out there so you can uh fall in the loop with them and let's see what's the next question let's see oh when you're inviting someone to a call again what are you telling them just send them the link when you all right, um, who wants to take that one? Kristen, for the question. I'll Kristen. take it. Go ahead, Gio. Kristen, what's going on? How you doing today? Yo, Kristen, I'm actually in a hurry right now, but I just started something big, and I wanted to include you into it. If I sent you a video that kind of explains it in a more professional manner, would you watch it? Once you get that commitment, yes. When can I follow up with you? When do you think you would have watched it? and set up that next time, uh, clear their schedule, have them set up that next time and follow up. The key is in the follow up. So I'm always in a hurry. So sense of urgency. I asked them if I do this, would you do that? So if I sent you this link with said pro, he breaks it down. He actually even has a script where he tells you exactly what to say word for word. Um, but, but you always want to be in a hurry. You broke up, bro. All right. You good. Oh, that was it? Yeah, yeah. Clear schedule. Uh, be in a hurry. Clear schedule. Take it away. And then Eric Worry's GoPro. Eric Worry, 30 plus years in network marketing, has made multiple millions of dollars. In his book, he actually gives out the keys on how to do it. Joe, my add value. Um, I think he covered it, Lydia. If you if you got any extras, you could throw on there, but. No, nah, he, he basically covered it all. But yeah, that's uh, what I used to do. I used to do a video sometimes just to make it a little bit more personal. Hey, you should be in bed right now. Um, so I just like to do the videos to make it a little bit more personal, but pretty much saying that some of the same things. I'll add a little thing like, man, if you were able to um, get in the ground floor when Google was first coming out, when Amazon, when all that, would you like to be able to do that? Just talking about the company. And then throwing that, can I count on you to show up and just listen in on this call? So just a few of those tidbits is what I throw in. All right. Um, you guys have any other questions? I, I would definitely say, you know, any any questions you got, we'll just uh, we're going to, you know, 11, 11, 4. 40 and then we'll cut the call um so you guys have any questions um guys if you're not p5000 then we ask you questions i promise you like I, and you may not know what question to ask but like I, i'm always asking questions i always have a question i want to see i might ask the same question to a different person and i just want to know what they're going to say so, um I always encourage guys to to do that. Um, but yeah, um, I guess no, no one has a question or anything like that. Oh, 
patients, patients or in the video, which is effective. Okay, um, I'll, I'll take this one and then you guys give your bias. Um, for me, um, Tristan, just shoot me a DM then, and you should a DM should be able to you should be able to um, do that. Um, but okay, so honestly, both work. Like both work. I've seen people do both, and they both work. Me personally, I do like the webinars. But I'm not gonna waste time, right? I'm not gonna waste time in getting somebody on a call. If I can't get them on a call, I'll just send them a video. So I do both, uh, but most times I'm able to get them on a a webinar. Um, Lydia or Gio, you can go. Lydia, you wanna go first? Yeah, but let me make sure. I reread the question. Which question are you answering now? Show me. Tell me. It was a uh, <laughs> presentation or send them a video. Which one do you, do you think is more effective? Um, you can do both. The most effective um is probably a presentation because it's more interactive. Because you're doing my presentations, they they don't they're gonna <laughs> type in the chat probably about fifty times. So they're engaging with me. They're able to feel my energy and all that stuff. So probably a presentation. Yeah, I agree with Lydia. Uh, presentations are definitely more effective just because you have uh, more people. You know, somebody logs on to a to a webinar and they see forty people on. They're like, wait, hold on, this is something big. This is something bigger than me. Um, but it all depends on the person. You know, if you're not free at three, six or nine, if you have a job, you can't make it, you have kids, send them that video, you know, and rely on the presentation as a backup. So after you send them the video, if they're still not committed, if they're still, you know, iffy, then once you do that follow up, you know, then get them on a call just so they can see the hype and see how big this is. But I definitely use both. Yeah. Um, like they said, I agree with both of them, both. But I'm going to leave you with one tip, Alex. Um, the three-way call is the most important thing to me because I'm going to tell you right now, when I was using, when I had, when I was leveraging Gus all the time for three-way calls, it felt good to tell my friends that I knew somebody that was making six figures. Like, it felt good for me to tell somebody that this person dropped out of high school and he's making this amount of money. It felt good because it was relatable. So it didn't matter if it was a video or which or, or, or webinar. It was always a three-way call is the most important thing. I talk about that the most. Um, and then the next question is, how did you guys stay so motivated and consistent in the beginning? I see the vision. How do we get there? Um, one of you guys can take that. Just keeping your why in mind the whole time. I know that sounds cliche, but thinking about the, the end game, the end goal. Like I always knew I wanted to retire. My mom is about, I'm about to retire her soon. So, and she's excited about it, but she's like, she ain't your typical grandma. I'm like, oh, so you gonna be able to watch my kids? Uh, no, she about to be out. But like, what, what kind of grandma is you? Um, but I'm excited about that. So just having that in mind and that being always the center that, okay, so I know what I'm pushing for. Thank you, baby, you're amazing. I know what, I finally got my wine. Oh, some good stuff. Sorry, but yeah, just keeping that in the forefront, keeping that so you know every single day why you're pushing, why you're doing the thing, and that's that's pretty much it. Oh, yeah, this is good. Yeah, your your why has to be the biggest thing, you know. Why are you doing this? So like, are you gonna let this person say no and quit on your dreams, or do you want to retire your parents? You know, are you gonna let this bad trade that didn't hit today? Uh, be the reason why you quit or do you want to, you know, be successful, you know, whatever, which way you want to be successful. So the why is the biggest thing and having a deep why is what's going to keep you motivated throughout the bad times. Um, seeing the vision, seeing the end, um, it's going to help you, you know, stay consistent. Um, yeah, like, I mean, they pretty much said a bunch of things um, that, that I do. Um, but I would say the the biggest thing is just, you know, you got to be watching. I, so I watch personal development. I'll give you guys some tips. I like to watch the people who, with, who are within the company, and I people watch. So 
for me, I'm not going to say it's a motivation or something, but like I see that they're grinding and I want to match that because I'm competitive. So to give you guys a tip, this comment completely off topic. I have all the chairman post notifications on. So I know when they post, they show up on my timeline. I'm watching success consistently. So it's hard for me to quit something that I consistently see. So you got to put it in front of you. Um, so that's that. Do you have like a text or script? Um, do you guys have a text or script? So I just sent the GoPro uh, book. The link is right under. You can download the PDF to your books on the iPhone or to your uh, Android phone. It's a script that you can use. It's best to do it over the phone because through text, you can't hear that excitement. Through text, you, you, you can't, you know, you're not going to feel it um, like you would on the phone. So it, it's key to do it over the phone. Yeah, because then it sounds like a script, but through, t um, through voice note, and I use voice note a lot. I even will send a video. I know that sounds crazy, but I'll send a video. I really will personalize it. That way they know, hey, this is just for me. That she is real. She's a person. So I'm going to answer your question. I'm going to talk about Forex in the video. And YouTube is huge, too. If you have, um, you've done a presentation, upload it to YouTube. So you can send a presentation video if it's you talking, even if you're recording some of the um, webinars that your team hosts, and even if you were just a guest on it. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I um, have a question. I mean, honestly, like, I don't really, at this point, I think I've just been doing it. For, I've been on so many three-way three, three -way calls, so many, like, I don't even, I don't have a text or anything. I kind of just go off the head, but, I mean, I think it just works if you're just consistent. So, that's the um, answer to that question. And then, Karina, you can unmute yourself right now. Hi, Lydia, I have a question for you. Oh, go ahead, Karina. How are you? Okay, I'm good. How are you? So I have a question for you, just because I feel like, as a woman, right, we, mm -hmm. um, t like, we want to be entrepreneurs and we want to do things for our kids and stuff. So how was it with, like, you know, your husband going to work and you doing this, um, doing Forex? Like, how was it, how is that dynamic? Because I feel like sometimes... I'm so like, I want to do all these things. And like, if a guy that I is, I'm, I'm dating is not seeing the same vision I'm seeing, like, I can't date them. So my, so I guess for me, I'm trying to like, you know, try to understand like, how does that dynamic work? Because, you know, not everyone can see the same things that we see, especially as mothers, because we're, we're thinking way beyond just what we see right in the present time exactly. so so I, that's why i wanted to ask i wanted to know like how is that dynamic because um you know typically most of the time we see a lot of men men doing this however us girls are coming out and really yes. like taking over this but you know that's something i was kind of questioning about and i wanted to hear from a female's perspective Okay, so he's definitely going to have to be supportive. And my husband is super, super supportive. Um, he's been supportive on all the at-home business that I did, even though he didn't like some of them because they were just really time-consuming. All it was was recruiting and never anything else. And when I found Forex, he actually pushed me into it because he had traded a little before, but without the education. So it helps having someone supportive because it's going to make it really, really hard if they are not, because we all know being an entrepreneur, there's so many ups and downs. So there'll be weeks when you're not doing so well, when you've either blown an account or just didn't have that great of a trading week. And then it'll be weeks when you may drop rank or weeks when everything is not going good. So you have to have that support system. And he's going to have to understand there's going to be ups and downs. It's not like your typical job. This is actually requires more work than your typical job. Your job, you just kind of show up and get paid it's, it's not like that so you're gonna have to have someone who's going to have to support you it doesn't have to really be financially but just mentally just emotionally be there and understand the life of an entrepreneur some late nights and i know sometimes we um fuss over that but i've gotten better with getting a schedule so kind of like and we just put the kids in um camp so now we're just here both days he mainly trades and I mainly build the business I know you go to school you should be in bed what time is it why are you not in bed oh you don't have school tomorrow so that's why you're out 
But um, <laughs> so we basically kind of work it together. He mainly just trades, and um, I trade and build. And you trade too, I know. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Did that answer your question? Yeah, well, like, was there any, like, weird dynamic as far as you being an entrepreneur and he was working, or was it, like, did you, like, for, I guess for me, is when you meet someone that doesn't have visions like you do, like, how does that, like, unless he had the same vision as you, or he was just kind of like, you know what, babe, I'm just going to support you regardless, and you're just kind of like, well, babe, I love you, and so that's that, you know what I mean, like, that thing. Yeah, I know what you mean, because I've actually had a few women come to me whose husbands completely did not agree, because, you know, in the very beginning, it's not going to be like you're going to instantly um, start making, having $100 days, and having profits, and stuff like that, so when it came down to it, you really just have to not make up, make them feel any less of a person if they're still comfortable with jobs or if they don't see the same vision as you. You just have to keep pushing um, and never make it a big, big deal. Like, because um, some people like to just really put down jobs and I don't want it to be like that. So. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. But, but, but we'll, we'll take about two, three more, I think. So what is the best way to get your team to consistently profit? Gio, you could take this one, then Lydia, you next. Using the products. Using the products, whether it's harmonic scanner, which is whether it's gold cup, whether it's you know high frequency, using the products in order to see profits. So I challenge everybody on my team to hop on the harmonic scanner at least twice a day, once in the morning, once at night. Take three different trade ideas every single day, and you're gonna see you know profits. You're gonna see good trades. The products that IML have, they work. You know the products that they have, they hit more times than not. So it's about consistently sticking to that product. Sure, you know, you can, you can go on something and, and maybe catch a losing streak. Maybe you'll get two, three trades, you know, that don't hit. But we're thinking about the long-term game. We're thinking, thinking about the long-term vision. So stay consistent. Don't knock something if, if you haven't taken at least 10 trades. So products over everything. You know, I, I advise everybody to get on those resources because they truly do work. Uh, Lydia? Yep, as I stated earlier, plugging them into the system. So you're saving yourself time, energy, and money by having like that calendar, like C. John says. So I have it written down every day what educator comes on and what time. So we're plugging into a New York session, trading together, making money. We're plugging into an Asian session, making money. We're plugging into what is it, um, London session, making money. So that's the best way to keep your team consistent and to, um, keep your retention now um yeah like you guys said products and plug them in quick like it has to be the second or third week you have to plug them in asap like yeah you, you gotta get them dependable on those things because they don't know everything so they can do that fall in love with a product the main the main thing is you want them to fall in love with at least one product if they could fall in love with one product they will depend on that product. They will continue to use it. And all the products are aggressively underpriced. So you're paying $20 for Gold Cup, but you're making five to $1,000, you know, 500 to $1,000, that $20 is nothing. And you love to pay that $20. You feel good to pay that $20. So products. Um, Alex, you can go ahead and unmute yourself and ask. Hey, okay, so I feel like this can go to all three of you. Um, I feel like I get like guys and girls that hit me up about like what I do and everything. But so far, I'm like two away from P6, right? But it's all females that I have. So I'm trying to figure out what's the disconnect as far as like the guys. But like I get the girls, but like what's the disconnect with the guys, you know? Sometimes it's just your brand, and um, a lot of times I attract way more females than I do guys, and I'm okay with that. Um, to, 
and guys, y'all may be able to take this better, but I know when we, I start attracting more guys, when I start talking more about, um, I think it was the truck that I got my husband, um, our house having like six bedrooms, stuff like that, that guys would just be like big house, big car. They want those type things instead of the normal stuff that I'm talking about all day, wine, kids and all that stuff. So I kind of switching up some of the stuff that I talked about in my stories to attract that different um, type of people. Mm. Okay. But what attracts uh, guys? Yeah, guys. That'd be perfect question for the guys. Right, right, right. I got you. I got you. <laughs> um, so um, for for me, right, um, just to give you, hold on, I'm sorry. You guys, all right, back. Um, so you want to attract, first of all, there's nothing wrong with having females in your business. Because most of the females in my business are the most coachable people I've ever worked with. And I love the females because they listen. <laughs> that's why Girl I love power. I love y'all. <laughs> right? Uh, so that's first and foremost. Uh, so I'm actually just looking for more women. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, now, guys, right? It's like Lydia said, you're branding, right? If your branding is more girly, a guy doesn't want to be a part of something that's more like feminine, you know, depending on the type of guy they are. Just just going off of from giving you my bias, right? If I see a girl like she's consistently posting, you know, it's dope, I see it, and it's just girly, like not it depends. Like some girls more like women empowerment is dope, I can support you, but like I might not want to be a part of that. Um so it's it's just tough. But you know, somebody like, you know, I would encourage you to watch how Lydia and and um, Jaleesa, look how they post um, because they're very inviting for, you know, both the male and female. And um, I, I would encourage you to keep watching their stories and kind of just, you don't have to copy it, but just modify it, right? Modify what they do because, like, I ain't gonna lie, like, I would probably want to sign up with those two because like, if, I, if I did it all over again and I... And, I was seeing them I would want it because they're so consistent and it's more inviting and I don't feel like I feel like with me and if I partner up with these two like I'm more likely to be partners with them rather than just like that like she's gonna bring me in and it's just gonna be a whole bunch of girls type stuff like she's showing like the you know for me like I show that for me to get girls in my business I show the women that are winning so more women want to win because they're like, yo, you got the women that are winning. I want to be with you too because your women are winning. And and I constantly boost them. And I'm like, I, I use language where I'm just like, you know, the the, the, the bum, the, the bum dad that, that, you know what I mean? The bum, you know, boyfriend that you got, like the bum, you know, I, I use things like that to empower and they just be like, man, I got the bum you told them about is right next to me. So I need to, you know what I mean? I need to see what he's doing. So those are the things that I, those are some tactics I use, um, you know, to, to get the opposite sex. So you got to start doing what Lydia said, like start doing things that are attracting, you know, G-Wagon or Lamborghini. Like, man, you got people, you know, clicking on your, um, your poll, right? You got, you know, questions geared towards the guys, right? Question geared towards guys. If you can gear it towards them, good um so I, I hope that was helpful um but geo um she had a question um can you ask it again alex so geo can hear it yeah i said that i get more women to sign up um so far my team like we're two away from p6 but it's like more women instead of not instead of but like i want to i don't know i'm trying to figure out the disconnect between all the women signing up and then why the guys aren't like I get them to the calls and stuff like that, but then after that they they try to take over and stuff like that, you know, be disrespectful. So I'm just you know, kind of. We're on, uh, on completely opposite ends. So I mean, I have a lot of guys on my team, not a lot of females. So it's based on your brand, based on who you're attracting. So you need that one guy on your team um, that's you know starting to see success, that's that's hungry with it. 
and he's going to back you up when it comes to, you know, talking in front of the guys or, or, or presenting to some different guys. Um, but I'm on the completely opposite end from you where I don't have that many females and I'm just looking for, you know, that female to step up. And, you know, just recently I have, you know, one of the females, she's from Philadelphia, so a different city than me. Um, but she's a couple, you know, subscribers away from hitting Platinum 1000. So she's starting to, you know, attract other different females, you know, whether it's uh, bottle girls or, you know, models or, or you know, that, uh, that community that I didn't have access to before. I was going to say, too, also, if you're doing um, in your stories when you do polls, I don't know if you do this currently. But, like, I know kind of how to, like, just quickly attract whatever niche I want to. All I have to do is think like them. If I want to attract a makeup artist, then all I have to do is act like I know nothing about makeup. And I say something in my poll, like, oh, my God, I need to go to this event. But I don't know what type of whatever. Can someone give me some suggestions, A, B, or C, and do a quiz? Which one brings out this or blah, 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 blah. And if it was a guy, I would say something like, guys, I need your opinion because this guy I'm dating or my husband or whatever. Why well, I say that like that? Like I got a guy and a husband. What is going on? Real? I'm about to be divorced. So don't say that. No, I'm just playing. But um, so if I know how, if I know kind of like, you, you know how to attract that type of person or you know kind of what they think or what they want. So put a poll and ask for advice. People love to give unwarranted advice. So if you were doing a poll, you know how to do a poll in your stories, you could just say something about whatever it is. Hey, I like this truck. What do you think about this truck? Or um, the, like he said, the G-Wagon or the Lambo, which one? And then you'll probably get a ton of guys with all their macho advice and all that great stuff. Last, last. Okay, yeah. Oh. Yeah, and I was going to say, then they'll probably start scrolling your page to see what else you got going on. Last tip, and I think this one is uh, is good. Like me, like I, I love seeing females that present yourself as a boss. Like when you when you running yourself like a boss, it's mm -hmm. it can be very very attractive. But not only just mm -hmm. as in like I want to get with you, but attractive like yo, like I want to be friends with you too. Like yo, you I I want to be around you because you're a boss. Like because of the way you're moving. Like you know, for example, like. Not, I'm not going to her home, but Jaleesa, she moved like a boss. Like, if you, if you know what I mean? Lydia, too. Like, and then, and then you got China, you got China. Yes. Billy, you got level. Julia Tinker, you got uh, Wanda Webb, too. Wanda Webb moved like a boss. So, when you, when you got the, when you got the, when you moving like a boss and you talking spicy on your Instagram live or you talking spicy on them stories, like the guys, the guys is going to be like facts, and that's just starting a conversation right there. So you know that's a lead. Doesn't mean you have to close them right then in that spot, but over time you might you might be able to close that person in the next three months, four months. You never know. But boss tendencies, like I don't know if you got looked that up on YouTube. Follow follow the chairman that been doing it. Like confidence. You know I mean? Do the do the do the nails. You know the, You know what I mean? Look, you know what I mean come in here. Do, do what you do. Do what you do. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, guys, I, I think uh, we've been on here for a while. Um, we'll go ahead. If no one has a question, I don't, don't want to feel bad if someone did. But if no one has a question, then we'll go ahead and we'll end this call. Appreciate everybody for getting on. Appreciate Lydia. Appreciate Gio. I appreciate you guys. We'll see if we can get a part two. But let's see after, you know, the next three to four weeks, you know, if people have been hitting ranks, because I best believe that people are going to hit ranks or people in your organization will hit ranks. Um, so I appreciate everybody who got on the call. I thank Lydia for taking the time out, her busy day, and Gio as well. Uh, Gio, not even, I don't even think he, he went probably to do something. But uh, <laughs> um, drop, all right, drop your IG, um, Lydia. Lydia. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Anybody in Virginia right now? I'm in Virginia. I'm looking for something to eat. I'm starving. <laughs> what part of Virginia? I'm in Richmond. Uh, what you doing out there? You building? 
building, you know? <laughs> I like it. I like it. Oh, those of you who don't know, you know, Gio's in Boston and Lydia's in Alabama and I'm in New York City. Um, if you guys have any questions or anything, you know, just look at how we post too. Like, just look at how we post, look at how we do certain things, look at how we document certain things and, you know, kind of just modify, you know, if you have questions, you know, maybe just slide in DM, ask a question. Um, we'll get, we'll get to it when we can. Um, but yeah, appreciate everybody for getting on the call. I thank you guys. Uh, we'll definitely do somebody said part two. Maybe, yeah, yeah, we'll have a part two because I, I believe that we're all, we all will elevate in the next 30 to 45 days. So let's go ahead and elevate and speak that to an existence. Everybody, let's let's get somebody to a new rank or let's get ourselves to a new rank, you know, by the next call we have. So appreciate everybody. And um, Lydia or Gio, if you want to say any last words, then um, go ahead and we'll end. I just appreciate you all for getting on the call, for just being here, because you could have been anywhere else, but y'all got on here, y'all took notes, hopefully, and y'all gonna apply what we said, and you're going to just be there consistently. So whatever it is that you do, even if you start it and then you quit, then it's still not gonna work. You have to do it, and you have to do it consistently. So y'all got this. Yes. Same mutual feelings from me. Appreciate everybody for getting on. Hope we uh, provided value for you guys. Remember, knowledge is not power. Applied knowledge is power. Yes. So it's simply just logging on to these webinars and listening to what we have to say. You actually have to go out there and put these things into fruition. And that's the only way you're going to see success. Yes. Anything you guys need, send me a DM. I'm here to help you. Peace. All right, y'all. Thanks.